Pasturumab-based monoclonal antibody, which has been developed versus the uh, vascular endothelial growth factor 2. And uh, it has been uh, evaluated in uh, phase 2 study uh, in many trials uh, in gastric cancer. Uh, and we have the documentation that Ramisurumab, in combination with uh, Taxane, improved uh, response rate, disease control, and uh, overall survival in second line in advanced gastric cancer patients. The REVAL study is the study employing Ramisurumab. In second line, uh, the study has been performed in a very large patient population, including uh, uh, adenocarcinoma and uh, squamous cell carcinoma of the lung, in combination versus docetaxel, which represent a standard treatment in second line in non-small cell lung cancer. Uh, the standard treatment in second line uh, usually is developed uh, uh, with pemetrexed or docetaxel and the choice of the treatment depends mainly by, uh, by what uh, has been used in first line. Docetaxel is a wide used option uh, worldwide and uh, in this study the combination of uh, Ramisurumab plus docetaxel has in this randomized trial versus docetaxel alone overall survival as uh, the main endpoint. Uh, the combination of docetaxel and uh, racimurumab was been able to show an improvement in all the uh, primary and secondary endpoint of the trial. The combination has been able to improve overall survival but also uh, the response rate, the disease control, and uh, the progression-free survival. The trial has met all its uh, main objectives, primary endpoint and secondary endpoint, improving overall results, response rate, disease control, and the progression-free survival. The combination of docetaxel and ramishurumab is a, a step toward in the treatment of second line non-small cell lung cancer because it is the demonstration that combining a classic cytotoxic chemotherapy with an antiangiogenetic drug, you can improve results in the difficult setting that is a second line treatment of non-small cell lung cancer. Necitumumab is a monoclonal antibody which has been developed against the epidermal growth factor receptor. Epidermal growth factor receptor is overexpressed in non-small cell lung cancer and the monoclonal antibody has been uh, evaluated in this randomized phase 3 study in a large patient population in comparison to what is the standard of treatment for non-small cell lung cancer in squamous histology, one of the standard treatments is cisplatin and zencytabine. So the trial is a very, very simply designed trial, just adding to cisplatin and zencytabine the monoclonal antibody necitumumab. Overall survival was the uh, main endpoint of the study, and it has, uh, it has been met uh, for squamous histology. So this is very important because we have the demonstration that targeting with the monoclonal antibody a specific target that is overexpressed in squamous cell carcinoma, we can improve in first line the results of the classic chemotherapy. Uh, and this is uh, uh, very significant for clinical practice because after many years of randomized trial, we have something that seems to work in squamous cell carcinoma and can improve the results of what is the classical chemotherapy regimen.